Technology observers are calling it one of the hottest products in the speaker market, a device that takes a new approach to the start to the task of sound reproduction. Jim Bolden explains how a whispering window can create sound systems from everyday objects. This gadget stuck to glass may be the first hint that you're in the presence of a whispering window. The second hint, you have no idea where the music is coming from. The idea is to have the sound coming from something like a television, but not have it come out of speakers, but have it emanate from something in the room. In this case, it comes from the department store window. These people were secretly recorded in front of a temporary whispering windows display at Peter Jones department store in London's posh Sloan Square. Those behind the technology wanted to see how many stopped to hear what was going on and then maybe buy a TV, DVD, or stereo advertised in the display. The store was stunned by the response. But overall, the period that the, the, the Whispering Windows were in, uh, we noticed a 40% uplift on sales across the whole uh, audio and TV department. Were you surprised at that kind of increase in yes. sales? Um, well, yes, mm. we were really. And certainly the increase in how many people did physically stop mm. and turn heads and look at the pane of glass. And look at a window like this yeah. and say, wow, what is that? Where, where am exactly, I hearing that from? Exactly. And yeah. as I said, you could physically see them looking, thinking, where's that coming from? <laughs> The man behind the technology explains. Yeah, the TV is playing through the DVD player. Right. We're taking that signal, we're converting it, running it through an encoder, yeah. and driving the devices which are attached to the windows. So the window becomes the speaker. This whole thing is a speaker. Yeah, so the whole area now is outputting about 30 watts of power. Yeah. So what you're seeing are maybe 60 half-watt sources all over that surface. So the, the signal in that direction is decaying quite quickly. Being able to hear the sound from within a meter from the window is critical to its success. It means, for instance, people passing in cars aren't distracted by the music. Marketers are keen to keep this technology from becoming annoying. The way that the sounds are being developed is not to make it that way, i.e. you as a shopper will be able to have it to you personally and delivered to you. And equally for store staff, which is just as important, they're not being interfered with. They don't find it an infringement of their sound and time at work as well. There's also a personal version no bigger than a computer mouse. So music without speakers can now be brought to many flat surfaces. You might soon be hearing a whispering car window, coffee table or office desk. Jim Bolden, CNN, London.